in West Vancouver, British Columbia. Cedar Chittenden is tagging Pacific salmon in hopes of answering a few of the unknowns surrounding their behavior and migration patterns. I think a lot of the stocks of fish are going downhill. There's been a lot of population crashes in the past 20 years. She and many other scientists work for a project called POST. POST stands for the Pacific Ocean Shelf Tracking Program. We're a scientific tool for researchers like Cedar. POST is setting up acoustic receivers that are able to track the movements of tagged animals. The receivers line the seafloor in rows, stretching from the nearshore coastal areas to as far as 50 kilometers offshore. The receivers form listening lines that will one day reach from the Baja Peninsula to the Bering Sea. Capable of listening to 250,000 animals at once, POST will provide a near-complete census of the survival and movements of everything from small salmon molts to large marine mammals. In order to do this, however, specimens must be captured and tagged. Researchers surgically implant tiny transmitters into the animals. This is the tag that we will be inserting. POST has already tagged 8,000 animals and receives information every day. But for a project on this scale, the challenges are immense. The process is extremely complicated and there's lots and lots of factors that come into play when you, when you get out on the open ocean like that to, to make this happen. But with deep challenges come deep rewards. He's all done and he goes into the recovery bath. The information received from POST will help to replace guesswork with accurate information. We're helping fill in part of the picture of you know, what, what is living in the ocean and specifically for POST where are salmon dine. Projects like this one, providing essential data for scientists and conservationists, could make the difference between losing the great diversity of ocean life and saving it. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.